great classical music, the free album, I suppose. This is royal free background music classical. Hope so. I put the links down below. Neuropsychology, that I am myself at in as a patient. Um, My in my recommendations has been uh, discussion about Eugenia Cooney and uh, regarding of anorexia and uh, kind of around the same subject about other YouTuber who has used clickbait to discuss other people's mental states. Uh, without those people's permission and um, I would like to touch a bit of that subject um, I am not a great presenter because uh, I forgot what I am saying normally I speak Finnish and uh, um, this I feel good when I try to speak speaking English, but I still I have the brain damage. So sometimes I just go empty, and uh, to cut my videos takes several hours. Only when I make these easier ones, so. I sure hope that um, not so many see my videos because the critics are sometimes not that gentle. I, I make my best. Sorry. So neuropsychology, as seen from Wikipedia. I'm nerd. I like Wikipedia. Is the study of the structure and function of the brain as they relate to specific psychological processes and behaviors. It is both an experimental and clinical field of psychology that aims to understand how behavior and cognition are influenced by brain functions and is concerned with the diagnosis and treatment of behavioral and cognitive effects of neurological disorders, whereas classical neurology focuses on physiology of the nervous system and classical psychology is largely divorced <laughs> From it, neuropsychology seeks to discover how the brain correlates with the mind. It thus shares concepts and concerns with neuropsychiatry and with behavioral neurology in general. The term neuropsychology has been applied to listen studies in humans and animals. It has also been applied in efforts to record electrical activity from individual cells in higher primates. Ah, it makes use of neuroscience and shares an information processing view of the mind with cognitive psychology and cognitive science. In practice, neuropsychologists tend to work in research settings clinical settings or forensic settings or industry history that you should yourself read it because they are quite interesting points there let's leave it there So, let's start from my past, and um, so I was 13 years old when I was, there really were uh, 
fly. <laughs> With my school skiing, uh, I hit my head there and got brain damage. Um, and uh, that was... Brain damage is still not that known to, the, to this day, but... It is... It is taken care of nowadays better than they were uh, 1990 and um, I was kind of left un untreated and um, every, every symptom I had was cyclized as another uh, that was not the case and they gave me medicine that w was really not good regarding of my brain damage but uh, they didn't care and um, and I I was not very easy person because brain damage causes quite odd behavior and uh, um, at that time I had a boyfriend and not that 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 I don't mention years but at some point not my first boyfriend but he, he was the best human that there is I respect my first boyfriend still continue um, not my b b first boyfriend but uh, don't say what boyfriend, but uh, at some point of my life I had a boyfriend who keep on talking about this mental um, rewiring stuff to me and uh, he, he w was very, very aggressive towards my uh, when I was tired and uh, when I got emotional and all sort of things he was very rude and at some point he he did demanded that I overcome all my symptoms by using my mind and he said that I I have the power to rewire my soul and uh, we were several years together sadly and uh, I was sick all the time and uh, it ended when he started to punish me with hitting and uh, then I s s um, I stopped the relationship then and uh, years years went by I tried to manage my all the tiredness and all the symptoms I had I I went all all psychologist and uh, doctors and uh, they even it went all that bad that uh, my body gave symptoms of cancer and it, it started to eat me <laughs> and uh, Everybody said that it's it's I have to just not hang myself but but take my life at my own hands and take the response responsibility of my own life and uh, start to take care of myself and all sorts of sh sort of things and uh, 
there was there was no one who said that or oh, oh, one doctor but he was a small part of my life then only one doctor said please you have to listen to your body because if you don't you will die so everybody has said all my life that it's my job to rewire my soul it's my job to unlearn the pain and relearn to be uh, as a whole human fun functioning human and um, I tried I tried I tried I tried I didn't use alcohol I didn't smoke uh, I tried to make everything right and uh, At some point, uh, no, I don't tell that, but it all the don't remember the, the, the year perhaps was something like 2006, 2009. I went to the doctor because I know I, I, I just can't cannot live anymore. Help me, please, help me. I, I went to the doctor and the doctor went like this. Do you really think that your life gets better? by laying around and doing nothing. Take your medicines and go to the work. After that, I crashed and I thought these are my last days of, of this earth. And um, I have had that same same wordings toward myself over 20 years. And um, I have to leave out some sad stories. Um, uh, uh, it was night and um, I googled uh, I googled word doctor and I write him everything I felt and I said I think I cannot continue anymore I have tried everything 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 there are two things I haven't done the other is I haven't kill killed anybody for money and I haven't uh, sell my uh, body anybody to money Exa um, I have I have been in I haven't had sex in five years so yeah <sighs> so but bef uh, I am speaking of that year 2008 perhaps perhaps so the doctor answered to my post and he said that my symptoms are not uh, something that you could cure by medicine please contact this person and he gave me the doctor who uh, the name of the doctor who is uh, neurology and I write to him and he asked me to uh, come to his practice and uh, they took some pictures of my brains and uh, they sent me to four weeks to some place where they uh, studied 
what's wrong with me and uh, I have everything wrong in my body my uh, my uh, ability to feel hunger my ability to feel the thirst my body does not uh, transform nutrition and such that well so I have to take it know it myself and uh, uh, I have to sleep if I get tired I have to go to sleep and uh, there is no such thing as otaitteja niskasta I make the English version of it uh, you you just cannot ho uh, take the hold o of yourself and make you do things because that's uh, then your body starts to eat yourself and uh, and uh, it was shocking to see how invalid I am when when I was four weeks between all those people there and uh, and. Um, after that, they came me real doctors, real uh, real neuropsychologists, and uh, and now we again start to speak about these uh, YouTuber psycholog uh, YouTuber persons who think they know how to handle other people's problems and solve them. Um, I go to this neuropsychologist who has been in this area of expertise like over 30 years and um, she is one of the best that there is here in Finland and um, even even she says that she don't know how one feels she have has to talk she has to uh, face that person and have a maybe years of wo work with that person to know how to make that individual's life better in the way of that individual's situation of life and such is it's not that for anybody even if you have the knowledge and all the professional behind you and s such um, there is this uh, kind of you have an ability to rewire yourself but it's a bit different than making yourself normal again um, there are breeding breathing <laughs> breeding make make w children Sorry, I have very good jokes all the time in my head. That that's the why I have to gum come gum. My word. Um, there is a study that if you breathe and you learn to breathe uh, with a deep like those who deep dive without any uh, machines uh, it kind of uh, pumps your fluids in your brains fluids this this is not known they are studying this this uh, at this time but it kind of uh, um, flushes your systems and uh, it gives you like we we females we women we do when we have our month cycle we get a bit um you know because our body gets uh, full of fluids and uh, because of hormones and such um you may help it by drinking uh, water, by um, having nice movement, dance, dance, and uh, go to the sauna, have a nice fresh drink there, not alcohol, but 
anyways. And um, that's that's very familiar to, to our uh, females. So it's kind of the same thing. I'm not a professional, but you help your body to you know you have the um, monthly hormones there and you uh, have an opportunity to help your body to <laughs> live it live with it and perhaps help them whatever symptoms there sometimes it don't work sometimes it works and you you are the only one who knows what works for you and not and there are people like Nora Sakalaki Chish who may help you with uh, uh, help you with differentiate the false and real with time. So um, the breathing is as you. Um, may know you have your landia and you have your guts down there and you breathe from here kinds of sort of pumps your liquids also in your head but it this is um, they are studying this and it's not s science yet but there are very don't know what they are seeing in patients it looks good <laughs> but it doesn't cure you. It it, it it might makes your symptoms easier. It doesn't cure you at all. I had this boyfriend. He didn't hit me. Uh, I had had this boyfriend. Only one had hit me. Sorry. Oh, this looks like I make it as a joke. Sorry. I had odd humor. I have odd. I, I laugh at odd things and sometimes I am so embarrassed of it. Ah! But um he he had this um psoriasis all over his body and uh, when we fall in love it went away the psoriasis ah uh, no the symptoms of the psoriasis went away for a while but the psoriasis psoriasis is all the time there you you have an opportunity to manage your symptoms you you have a doctor who says what perhaps make it worse and what e uh, makes it easier to manage and you are the only one who knows what really works trying these methods um there are there are this uh channel community community channel uh, i don't remember the girl's name the nowadays nowadays woman's name but i love how she makes everything a good good comedy i would like to be like her because my mind works like her videos in every situation I see something that makes me laugh and that it's very troubling at times because I laugh so odd things um, if you watched it to this point thank you I have put some links down below and uh, I am happy if my followers are under not big numbers, 
because I am afraid of bad people. Uh, I am afraid of uh, heavy criticism. I I like that when people comment something, they don't want to crush me, because YouTube YouTube is for me like a road there. If you see a handicapped person there, you don't go to bash. You don't. You don't say go to that person's face and say that what a shitty person you are, or in the grocery stores or such. You just leave people alone. If they ask you something, you if you have the knowledge, you tell your opinion about it. But you don't. Uh, start to shout out to everybody. I see YouTuber. YouTuber is my wheelchair because I I really cannot be outside that much. So I respect I I am glad if you don't see me as something to hit with your strong words. But I still, I want to be here. Take care. Make your world a better place. Love yourself. Listen to yourself. And uh, have a nice day. Bye.